Oh, Lord. This bed is so high. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog. If you are new here, my name is Tia, aka Exclusive Edition. And on this channel, we primarily focus on luxury, lifestyle, travel nursing, and lots of randomness. So, y'all, I think this is going to be the beginning of a weekend vlog. Me and Babe are fresh to death today, okay? Like, y'all, my outfit turned out so good. I'm going to show y'all what I have on. Um, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, we are actually getting ready to head down to Sulot Market here in St. Louis. It's actually just a farmer's market. Have not been there in years. And I don't even remember what prompted me to want to go. But I just know that I want to go. So we're going to spend our Saturday um, at Soulard Market. My sister did graduate today. Um, I was going to surprise her and go with my cousin to her graduation. But it's like literally like three hours away. And I just didn't have the bandwidth. After this work week, I it was a no for me. So um, I'm thinking that later on we may go to her house because my niece also has prom. Um, and so I kind of wanted to see what she looks like before she goes off to prom. So we'll go to the farmer's market. We'll probably grab something to eat. Babe, are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we have not eaten anything today, y'all. We've just been chilling, lounging. I did get my Bible study in this morning. Um, I prayed on, you know, a few things, but I just, I've been so distracted. So um, I read the word, but it didn't stick because I, my thoughts was just everywhere, y'all. Um, but I did do that this morning. What else we doing? Oh, tomorrow is Mother's Day. So we'll probably go over his mom's house and celebrate. We still got to get her a gift, babe. You better figure it out. <laughs> um, So we got to get her a gift. We'll probably have to do that today. Um, And then that'll be our weekend for the most part. Not really doing much. Um, Monday, I go back to work. So y'all, most importantly, I want to show y'all my outfit. I probably won't be. I don't know, babe. Yeah, you'll have to you'll have to go ahead and just show me show them my outfit because it's so cute, y'all. It's so cute. Um, we'll just start with the hat. So the hat, y'all know it's just a gap hat. This is actually a white bodysuit from Amazon by the Rioria brand, I think. This I have been loving this. I just picked this up the other day. This isn't like my everyday wear, y'all. It's just a little Aryan necklace. If you're new here, I am a psych nurse. Um, and then earrings, also picked these up the other day from Zales. I think they're just like little 10 carat uh, hoops, so cute. I don't have any jewelry on my hands or anything. Um, lips, I got too much on, first of all. It's just a uh, Fenty Glow. And then y'all, the star of the show is my pants and my shoes. I'm gonna let babe show y'all. Here, babe. Show the people. Y'all, do y'all see these pants? This is the Phenoel slash Target collab that I was telling y'all about. It's giving magic carpet. It's giving Aladdin. It's giving uh, harem jump pants, y'all. I love this outfit. Then on the feet, y'all, we have the Gucci platform slide, y'all, with the GGs on there. Such a cute, comfortable look, y'all. I love this look. It's giving summer. I'm just out and about. Only thing is, I don't have a uh, crossbody that is really fitting for this outfit. And I don't want to wear a clutch because I am going to the farmer's market. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be picking up some random stuff. Um, I do have a Brahmin clutch, not clutch, um, crossbody that I could wear, but it's so big. So honestly, I might just once again carry my MCM little shoulder bag because I got some things that I need to cut, um, carry. So yeah, y'all, this is the look. I'm loving it, y'all. It's so cute. All right, y'all, y'all know I made Babe <laughs> Model Force 2. He coming in hot with the all black, y'all. Just a regular black t-shirt, black jeans. And then we got the black shoes. Love these, Babe Model Form. These is the, um, these are actually the Kurt Geigers, y'all. He got these a couple years ago. Very uh, reminiscent of the, what is it, the sock? The sock, mm -hmm. shoe sock or whatever by Balenciaga. Turn around, babe. You act like you ain't trying to model. You act like you ain't trying to be a, you know, give him what you got. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So, babe, is in all black today. So, oh, of course, let me get a close-up. 
Turn to the side, sir. We got the Gucci's on. I mean, uh, Versace's, I'm sorry. And then his chains, of course. So that's what we looking like today, y'all. Oh yeah, just to let y'all know, let me show y'all what I'm smelling like today. It's a nice summer day. I think summer is finally here, thank God, y'all. Um, so I'm wearing this, y'all. I know you can't see the label on it, but it is A La Rose by Maison Francis Kirk Jean. And then I actually paired it also with this. This is by Aaron, and it is the Cedar Violet, y'all. So very much floral today, very much flowers. So I'm smelling like violets, I'm smelling like roses. And then the cedar is gonna kind of put a little hmm, smokiness, woodiness into it. So uh, I just think it's very appropriate. This is also appropriate for like fall, y'all. It's a little heavy. Um, but yeah, I smell amazing. And babe, I think you put on Bourbon by Bath and Body Works? Yes. Yeah. So smelling good, looking good. Y'all know it's a vibe. Um, I'm about to hop in a Beamer and push it. Okay, good, 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 good. You got to have flavor. 
ghetto sauce. You want to try it, sir? Yes, sir. Spicy on my Bro, is this like barbecue Spicy. sauce? It's an all purpose sauce. You can use it for your barbecue, food, chili. It's good. Meat, love, sloppy jobs. Lasagna. Oh, chili. This yeah, is good. good. Chili. Shrimp cocktail sauce. I mean, it's yeah, all purpose good. sauce. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Damn. I'm going to get some of this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what is it called? Ghetto sauce. Ghetto sauce. Oh, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, there's oh, some different yeah. ideas besides barbecue. Yes. Are you familiar with St. Louis? Huh? Are you familiar with St. Louis? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we live over by Fairground Park. Okay. We live on Hot Soup Red Bull. Okay, so yeah. That's why it's ghetto. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's right. Make a profit off of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll take one. Thank you. You guys take orders. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They didn't want to call it ghetto sauce. Oh, y'all in Snooks? God has blessed us. We're in 1,200 stores. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. Okay. But oh, Snooks is the only one. I'm going to go by bakery. Baklava with like yeah. chocolate uh, on it. I do two of these. I know I love these ones. Oh my goodness. Uh, the it's good. It's very yeah. good. And then one chocolate. Highly recommend. Trace chip. What's that? Hello. Hello. This car, car missed. You know, I need something for the new ride. Smell it. You like this? Oh, it's very nice. Oh, what is this? Oh, moon, moon sparkle. I like it. Oh, good. This is um. This is called Smell Goods. It is Paradise. It's a car mist. Smell it. This is purple, purple passion. Oh yeah, that's like a yeah, that's giving like a wine vibe. Mm, that smells real good. I know. I like that one. You like this one? Mm -hmm. For the car. Melon Madness, Yellow Rose. Simple pleasure. Oh, I like that one too. Uh, crab ragoon on point. It is on point. <laughs> this nice man shared this crab ragoon with us. And we got some chicken kebab. Some of the fried chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
comes with a little phone holder like this this one also does but it also comes with a uh, Bluetooth like a, I don't, you gotta hook up your phone somehow okay. but you can use it to take pictures or start and stop the video oh without okay. having to touch it you okay know what I mean? okay we'll figure it out yeah cool. and that's the tripod yeah they both okay. have they both have the they phone holder work. and I think this one also has a button as well yeah, yeah this one has a button as okay well. so it's got everything you need oh yeah don't worry Hey y'all, so we are back from the farmer's market. Such an experience, I haven't been there in years and I feel like it's better than what I remember it being or maybe I'm just appreciating it more now that I'm like a grown up. But y'all, they had everything from, you know, handmade oils and body butters to chocolate and vegetables, produce, uh, any and everything that you can think of. Babe, did you bring in the um, ring light? Yes, not. It's in the back seat. Anyway, y'all, they had a ring light and a tripod that we bought, okay? Because we're investing into our channel. With that being said, a camera is coming today, y'all. Just waiting for it to arrive here uh, via FedEx. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all a few goodies that we got uh, from the market. So this is going to be like a um, Soulard Market haul, y'all. My outfit was so cute. I got compliments on my pants. I got compliments on my shirt. Um, but it was hot in there, y'all. It was hot. It was hot. Um, so it literally started raining as soon as we got in the car. So we made good timing on that. I'm not too sure if we're going to go to my sister's with the way the weather is. And I'm kind of tired now, y'all. So this may be it for the day. I think we do still got to get out and get like a Mother's Day card. We just decided we're going to give his mom some money. And that's going to be that. Um, and then, what's wrong, babe? Oh, um, right there. Right there. Right there. Y'all, I had to wait till he left. One thing a man gonna do is not look and not listen. Y'all, if you have a man, leave a comment below because one thing they are not gonna do and it's so irritating, I swear to God. Not look and not listen. But anyway, with that being said, y'all, um, <laughs> uh, let me show y'all what we got. 
Got some good finds and literally like just random things, y'all. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is just these little um, fine fragrance mists. They are by, I guess, a little brand called Smell Goods. Um, I got Paradise, Purple Passion, and Simple Pleasures. I'm going to be using these as my car fragrances. Um, Y'all know, like, this is a black thing. Like, I feel like black people, we love our oils. We love our scents. Um, and I was at first looking for more of a, you know, luxurious um, smell for my car. But then when I saw these, I'm like, let me go ahead and get these smells. You know, I've gotten stuff like this before. And I don't know. It's just something so black about these type of things. Um and I just sprayed this in the car, this purple passion. This smells good. It's like a, y'all know, it's like that play of vibes. It's like, <laughs> this is one of those items that, you know, all the old players love to use in their cars. And so um, I just thought that it was cute, you know, to go ahead and just start using some of these. So they all smell amazing. My favorite is probably this green one. I feel like this is a nostalgic smell, um, but I sprayed the purple one. So now we have our car scents, y'all. Um, and I was just happy to support black business. Also, with that being said, babe went ahead and got this from the same guy. It was only like five bucks. It's just a little onk, you know. Babe loves, absolutely loves uh, his African jewelry. So, got that. And up next, y'all. I know y'all wondering like, what the heck is in this bag. Basically, y'all, it is a pound, okay, honey, of turtles. Do y'all see that? I don't know if this is focusing the correct way, but yeah. These are curated candies that are, I guess, made here in St. Louis. Um, and turtles are like my absolute favorite chocolate candy. And yeah, we got a pound of them for like $7. So, so happy to have these. And to be honest, they taste better than what's at the store, y'all. So, I had to stop and get that. Um, let's go here next, y'all. Now, I was so tickled when I saw this, y'all. <laughs> Look at the name of this, Ghetto Sauce. Freddie Lee's Ghetto Sauce. It's all-purpose gourmet sauce. No high fructose corn syrup, gluten-free. Here in St. Louis since 1986. Grilled, fried, smoked, or baked. Now, tasting this, he let us taste this. Um, I think he had a regular and he had a spicy. Um, and I like that he said that the spicy is not overdone. And he's correct. It's not too spicy. Um, what I really love about this is that this sauce, um, it is, it, to me, it tastes more like a barbecue sauce, but it is an all purpose sauce. I could also see myself putting this like in my chili, which I'm excited to do. So I got the, um, big bottle of it, but what I'm most excited about y'all, and this is another black owned brand, just to let y'all know, we support our black people over here. Um, what I love is that he is in all these different stores here um, in St. Louis. And on the back of this card, it just literally shows you where all the, um, it shows you all the places that he's at. All these stores he has his sauce in. So I love that for him. Um, these are all small stores in St. Louis. Deerberg's is actually a large chain. Schnucks is a large chain. Um, but what he told me, for those of you who knows what Schnucks is, he said that he could not sell his sauce in their uh, store with the name Ghetto Sauce. So he had to change it to like All American Sauce or something, which I thought was kind of like, eh, uh -huh, but you know, do what you got to do to get it sold. I just felt like, I don't know, like why should he have to change his name? But I guess it didn't align with their uh, store. You know, Schnucks is one of the higher priced stores here. Nonetheless, he got his sauce in the store, and so we love that for him, y'all. But, yeah, just look how impressive this is. He's been able to get his sauce in all these stores, even, like, not in um, Missouri. There's the Hy-Vee, as you can see, in, like, Spirit Like Iowa. He's in Minnesota. Uh, he's in Bald Island, North Carolina. So this man is making some money, and I'm so happy to see that. So it just goes to show that his sauce is probably doing well, and I'm proud to have it. All right, y'all, so next I wanted to talk about these homemade body butters, honey. Oh, my God. So um, she was having a sale. It was like three for 60, three of her items for 60. I had never heard of her. 
However, we did get a card because once again, we support black business. Her name is Shelby Marie. She has a luxury fragrance bar. This is her information if you guys are interested. Not sure if she ships, but she probably does. Um, and she also said that she has a luxury bar that, you know, you can host perfume parties, a date night, birthday party, ladies night out, bridal showers, and then you can actually make your own scents, ladies. So we love that. This smells so good. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is more, as far as I'm concerned, a male fragrance scent. It's, it, it's definitely more masculine. So, um, babe's going to use that. And what I love about this, like, if you feel this, it, it feels like it's empty, y'all. This is so light and buttery. It's so, so, so very light. Um, I do like her packaging, too, with the gold tops. Um, this smells amazing. This will be for me. It's called I'm Delicious. And then it also comes with a spray, which I really like this little um, spray bottle that she has it in. Gives it very much a luxe feel. I cannot wait to wear this, y'all. I've really been into like uh, body butters, uh, body creams, that type of thing lately. Ooh, Lord. And it's perfect because um, I'm out of my Chanel number five cream and running low on my uh, Delina cream. So now I have more cream to combat that y'all. And I just really like the packaging. This is so cute y'all. So cute, don't hesitate. It's delicious, let me see. Oh, it just smells so fresh and it just smells delicious. <laughs> it just smells delicious, kind of fruity. Uh, perfect for the summer. I can't wait to pair these together. And, you know, give you guys a review on what that smells like. All right, y'all. I told, told y'all they had some any and everything here, y'all. So, y'all know we're trying to take this channel to the next level. We literally have a camera coming today. So, why wouldn't I pick this up, y'all? <laughs> um, it's just a small 11-inch ring light. Y'all know this is, you know, fairly new, this part of the game. Trying to, you know, get into the whole lighting aspect. And then here, this is actually a tripod. Together, both of these were only about $27, y'all. So it's not like top of the line. It's not, you know, probably the best that's out there. But to start off, you know, and learn about lighting and um, there's a place here you can connect your camera. I think on the tripod, there's a place you can also put your phone. Um, this, is, this is perfect. So with the camera coming, with you know the little media kit that we bought and with this i think we're set y'all i can start doing some little sit down videos which i plan on doing i want to get back to my um monthly favorite videos i want to start doing some nursing videos so those type of sit down content videos these will be perfect for y'all so pick this up and i could not be happier all right y'all so this last piece look we bought this chime. It's like a wind chime. Um, it doesn't make any noise or anything though. But y'all, I didn't know how to feel about this at first. Um, obviously, as you can see, this is looks like a handmade piece. I really, really got this because of the craftsmanship, y'all. If you look, it is literally looks like our people back in our day, our ancestors doing things that they would be doing back then, carrying baskets on their heads, carrying large loads, sweeping, uh, basically working. Um, and so I just thought this was, and then this little guy here is playing with his son or kid or whatever. He has a walking stick. Um, this person or this little guy right here is carrying something on his back. Like, I just thought this was so unique, y'all. I thought this was so just, I have never seen anything like this. Um, if I had to really study this at first. I was kind of scared. I'm like, I don't know, like, this look like little voodoo dolls or like, is this like demonic? I don't know. Also, I had to think about the fact, like, do I really want to like, remember this? You know what I mean? Like, is this something I want to be reminded of, of my people working back in the day? And then I say, yeah, yeah I do. You know, I want to be, you know, I kind of want to pay tribute to the ancestors in this sort of type of way. And I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking too deep into it, but I just thought this was the most unique thing I've ever seen. And obviously, to go with my aesthetic outside, I will be doing my patio, y'all. And these are going to be my colors. It's natural. 
kind of jute looking color and black and it just it's perfect y'all it's perfect so i have a little plant hook out there that i'm going to uh attach this to and um we'll see how it looks but yeah y'all tell me what y'all think about this this is really really unique it was only 40 bucks y'all Oh yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all, if you guys are thinking about getting these, please do, okay? Please do. I wore these all day today. I did a lot of walking, y'all, and these are literally so comfortable. They are not uncomfortable anywhere. They fit perfectly. They gave me a lot of support. My feet don't hurt, like, probably the best, probably the best Gucci investment that I've ever made, y'all. And with that being said, I'm now in my house shoes. Have you guys ever seen these? These are actually from Amazon. They are so cute, y'all. So cute, feminine, and girly. I thought these were perfect for the summer. I actually ordered a kimono robe <laughs> to go with this look, but it was too small, so I have to send it back. But these were only $22, y'all. I will link these. They are so cute and definitely, as you can see, true to size. They fit perfectly. So get your normal size. All right, y'all, last but not least, I wanted to show y'all. Y'all know we had to get some sausage, okay? We had to get some meat, y'all. And I'm most excited, let me show y'all. First off, these are just some, um, first off, these are just some hot link sausages, I believe. Are these the hot link sausages? I don't know, but yeah. These are the hot link sausages. They're spicy. Can't wait to put those on the grill, y'all. And then we got these cheddar bacon sausages, y'all. Can't wait to eat those. And to be honest, y'all, this is what I'm most excited about right here. Let me show y'all real quick. Cajun style bacon. Look at the sauces on there. Thick slabs, thick cuts of bacon, y'all. And to be honest, we're not really baking people in this house, but lately, bacon been fire. Bacon has been fire lately, y'all. I don't know if my taste buds are changing because I'm getting older or what, but I was like, let me try this. Like, hey, y'all already know anything Cajun style, bussing, bussing out the gate, okay? So um, this is by Beerman Meat and Processing in Albers, Illinois, y'all. So... And another thing, y'all, meat, produce, all that, if y'all not familiar, it's so much cheaper. It's so much cheaper at the farmer's market because you're literally buying it from the farmer instead of buying it from the store, which has to buy it from the farmer. So then you're paying the price that the store is going to charge you because they had to buy it from the farmer. So uh, it's literally like farm to table, y'all. We had a great time today, y'all. A great time. Um, got so many, you know, different unique things. More than anything, I was just happy to support my black people, my black businesses. Um, that's what we're about over here, y'all. So see y'all in a bit.